Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning into Stacker Chats. Stacks is a Bitcoin layer for smart contracts. I'm Gina Abrams, and I'm joined by Muni Bali, Stacks founder, with your regular updates. So some people have been referring to Stacks as a Bitcoin L2. What are your thoughts on that? I think, I think that's a very, very interesting thing because in the latest papers that came out, the latest Stacks paper and the uh, SBDC paper, the language used was kind of like Stacks is a Bitcoin layer. I think uh, we wanted it to be more broad uh, because people sometimes become uh, very technical about, about these definitions and so on. Uh, I do think like my view here is that the initial version of Stacks that went live uh, in early 2021, um, that was sort of like a layer 1.5. I know I know it's a confusing thing, but, but it's not really a L1, it's not really a L2, and that's why I, I call it a layer 1.5. Um, I do think that the next version, the Nakamoto release, um, actually makes it pretty squarely a L2. Uh, even though in the paper, like currently, you know, we, the language is a little bit more broad, uh, but it, I think it's important to get into the details for why. And the biggest reason is that typically L1 chains have their own security budget, right? If you look at Ethereum, it has its own security budget. It has nothing to do with Bitcoin. If you look at Solana and, and so on, but the L2s, they actually share the security budget of the underlying chain. Um, and the, the, the quote unquote, like true L2s actually uh, have a hundred percent of the security budget of the underlying chain, right? And so if you, if you sort of like look at the, the, the lightning network over there, the security guarantee is that you could basically take out your, uh, Satoshis from the network by doing a Bitcoin L1 transaction. And you're ultimately secured by, by, Bitcoin, sec by Bitcoin security, right? And that's why clearly Lightning, Lightning is L2. On the Ethereum side, because Ethereum has smart contracts, uh, even more advanced L2s for smart contracts, like you know Arbitrum or Optimism, they do derive their security from, um, from, from the Ethereum L1. Uh, so that's why they're kind of like more clearly L2s. So with the, with, the, with the new Stacks design, the security there is a difference in the security budget. So Stacks no longer has a separate security budget. That was, that, that was the case with the initial release, the release that's live right now. But with the Nakamoto release, it will actually derive the security from Bitcoin L1. So 100% of the Bitcoin hash power um, will decide finality on the Stacks layer. What does that mean? Uh, very, very specifically, what that means is that the transaction ordering or the block ordering of stacks will depend on 100% of Bitcoin hash power. It follows Bitcoin finality, meaning if you want to reorg the stacks blocks or reorg like some, some transactions or mess around with basically the history of the, of the stacks uh, uh, layer, you would have to go and reorg Bitcoin. There are more details, like you know, after how many Bitcoin blocks that happen and so on. But at a at a high level, uh, it basically follows Bitcoin finality. And I think using using that lens, I do think it starts to look pretty squarely like a Bitcoin L2. And and a lot of people sort of like you know uh, visually get that as well. They're like oh great, you know we we understand the difference between an L1 and L2. L1 is sort of like the base layer. L2 is built on top. And interestingly, there was a Twitter discussion where uh, Jameson Lop uh, chimed in about, about this dis distinction about um, L2 or not. And he thinks that an, another thing that makes something like a L2 is if it if that layer or system cannot survive without the L1. So I think in this case, I think that property also holds uh, because Stacks layer with the next upgrade will follow Bitcoin finality. All of the leader election consensus happens on Bitcoin, so the layer can't really survive without without the L1. So I think I think from that lens, it also now looks more like a uh, Bitcoin L2. And and I've noticed recently, I've been some conferences where this uh, this wording seems to be making more sense to people. Right? It's just people more easily understand what the stacks L2 is when you say it hits an L2, right? So so I, I think I'll, I'll just use the language that more people can understand and, and 
and it uh, clicks with them instead of sort of like making things more complicated.